I will say a few words about bismuth as a thermal material. It is known for many years to be a very a promising thermal material. It is used today in the current commercial products and it is also predicted to be very efficient at the nanometric level. And the reason for the high efficiency of bismuth as a thermal material is there are a few reasons due to its uh, characteristics. For example, the high mobility of the charge carriers, the low thermal uh, lattice thermal conductivity. Uh, it is actually very low when you compare it to other materials. And the main, the main reason for that is that bismuth is the heaviest uh, atom, uh, except for uh, the radioactive uh, elements. And this very high uh, mass leads to a very low lattice thermal conductivity. Um, in addition, it has large CB coefficient and a long Fermi wavelength. Okay, the meaning of the long Fermi wavelength is very important when you go down to the nanometric level because um, once you go down below the Fermi wavelength, you start to see the quant quantum confinement effects. And so if you compare the bismuth to other materials such as gold, uh, here the wavelength is very long, red relatively. So in order to get quantum confined effects, you can, we, you can use relatively large dimensions. So it is much easier from the technical point of view. For example, in the case of gold, you need to go down to something like 2 nanometers in order to start to see meaningful quantum co confinement effects. So it is much easier, of course, to, to uh, deal with the 20 nanometer structures um, when you compare it to 2 nanometer structures. So it is very important technically. Um, bismuth in its bulk uh, uh, structure is a semi-metal. And once you lower its dimension toward uh, the nanometric level, uh, the valence and conduction bands, they start to separate and you get a semiconductor eventually at a certain point.